Anamita Ramani, founder of Spa Genie, UAE's leading spa and wellness website. And I'm very excited to announce the launch of our latest venture, Spa Genie TV, where we'll be releasing weekly videos that answer common questions related to beauty, fitness, and well being. Today's video is the premiere of this web series, and I really hope that you enjoy it. So, to kick off this launch, I'm going to be talking about how to deal with oily skin, which can be often very challenging especially due to the misconception many people have about the best way to take care of it. One of the common mistakes I see people making is implementing a wrong skincare routine, which often consists of overdrawing products that provide little to no hydration to the skin. To start off, I think the important thing is knowing how oily skin works. Oil, also referred to as sebum, is produced naturally by sebaceous glands, regardless of whatever skin type might be. It then makes its way to the surface of the skin through your pores. And as surprising as it might sound, it actually plays a very important role in keeping your skin healthy. The problem occurs when the skin overproduces this oil, which can be for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's hormones, genetics, irritation, and very commonly dehydration. This is where most people go wrong when trying to control excess oil production as most turn to using products that dry out their skin a completely eliminate a moisturizer from the skincare routine, causing the skin to feel dehydrated, which in turn pushes it to overproduce oil. So essentially, one of the biggest tips for controlling oil production is to keep your skin hydrated. And the best way to do this is by drinking plenty of water and to always moisturize, especially after you cleanse your face. Once you've got the right cleanser, the next thing to keep in mind is how often you cleanse. Over cleansing is a common mistake many people with oily skin make, especially since it can get very tempting to wash your face multiple times a day when it's feeling greasy. Once again, this can be very harsh and stripping to the skin and can cause it to overproduce sebum in order to compensate for the natural oils that have been taken away. The best amount is usually twice a day, which helps keeping the skin clean without over drying it. And of course, follow up with a moisturizer. Finally, Remember that oily skin is not necessarily hydrated skin. More often than not, it can be an indicator that your skin is actually dehydrated and needs moisture. Taking care of this key point can be instrumental in keeping oily skin under control and can help address one of the root causes of excess oil production. So remember, moisturize, be gentle with your skin and always keep in mind that oily skin needs some hydrating love too. Thanks for watching and do comment below and let us know how you liked our Premier Spa Genie TV. We would also love to hear about what kind of cleansers and moisturizers you use should you have an oily skin. It's always good to share with the community, right? This is Namita Ramani and I'll catch you next week with another Spa Genie TV exclusive. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, there's a child. We have to pause.